All right, in this video, we are going to set up and solve different types of word problems, and these are applications of linear functions, um, specifically mixture problems. These are going to be the type of problems where we have, you know, a certain two different solutions. One is a certain percentage concentration. The other is a different percentage concentration. How many of each do we mix together to create a certain solution? Now, let's start with this example. It says a chemist, uh, chem chemist needs a 20% solution of alcohol. That's their goal, Okay. I'm going to label it with G for goal. She currently has a solution with 15% concentration and a solution with 30% concentration. How many liters of that first solution should she add to three liters of the second solution to create this 20% solution? Now, before we can set up our little table here, let's, let's do a little background knowledge. Um, what we know is that our, if we have like the total volume of our solution, so we have five liters of a mixture, and let's say we know its concentration the relationship between those two and the amount of pure, let's see, in this case, alcohol, would be that the total amount times the percentage concentration would give you the amount of pure alcohol. Like a, like a little example with some round numbers would be like if we had a 10-liter solution that was 50% alcohol, we can multiply 10 times 0.5, and that would tell us that, oh, that means that, that 5 liters of that are just pure alcohol. And it's this relationship between these variables that we're going to use to um, fill in our table. So those, that was kind of like a little example I made up, but let's kind of set this up. What we're going to have is we're actually going to have a few rows. We're going to have our first solution, our second solution, but then we're actually going to have a third row for like our goal. Okay, so this down here is going to be like our goal, and this is going to be like our, our first solution, and this is going to be like our second solution. So let's just kind of uh, fill in the dots. It says she currently has a solution with 15% concentration, so... Um, she has a 15% concentration, and she has a solution with a 30% concentration. And then her goal is to create a 20% solution. So down here in her goal, we want that to be 0.2 for 20%. We can see that this concentration is a little less than 20. This one's a little more than 20. So how many of each of those we mix together to create this particular concentration? Now, let's look at our, our total volumes. What we know is we're trying to say... How many liters of the 15% should she add to 3 liters of the 30%? Here's how we can represent that. This is our unknown. This is what we're trying to find. How many liters of this first solution added to 3 liters of that solution would give us what we want? Now, now if you notice, we've kind of used all of our information in the table. We have a lot of blanks left. Let's talk about where these come from. Well, I know that we have X liters of the first solution, that we're adding to 3 liters of the second solution, that means our goal can be represented with 3 plus x liters. The, we have 3 liters of the 30%, and then we're trying to figure out how many of the 15%. That's how many li this represents how many liters there will be in our final solution. If we come over here to this right column, this right column can be filled in just by taking the first column times the second column. Like in that first example I made, I said, okay, we can just multiply our total volume times the percentage and to find out how much pure alcohol that would be. For this one, if there's X liters total, and it's 15% alcohol, I can just multiply 15 times X, and this expression represents the volume of pure alcohol in that first solution. I can do the same thing here. 3 times 0.3 would be 0.9 liters of pure alcohol in this second solution. And then lastly, I can do the same thing here. If I do 3 plus X times 0.2, This expression gives us the amount of pure alcohol in the third one. And here's what we know. We got a nice little equation right here that we can set up. We know that this amount, this amount of pure alcohol from the first solution, plus this amount of alcohol, pure alcohol from the second solution, gives us this much pure alcohol in our final solution. So that's our little equation we can solve. If I do 0.15x plus 0.9 equals 3 plus x times 0.2, Let's just solve this little equation, and then we're done. So I'm going to distribute right here, and that is going to give me um, – oh, pardon me. I got confused looking at my own notes. So I'm going to distribute. 0 0.2 times 3 gives me 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 times x is 0.2x. And that's equal to 0.15x plus 9. Now, I'm going to try to collect all of my um, variables onto one side of the equation, all my terms onto the other side. So I'm going to subtract 0.15x there. Anything I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. Oops. 
and this would leave us with 9 equals 0.6, excuse me, 0.9, equals 0.6 plus 0.05x, and then lastly, I'm going to subtract 0.05 from each side. So whenever, excuse me, I'm going to subtract 0.6 from each side. Sorry, I'm getting all tripped up in my words. Um, I'm going to subtract 0 0.6 there. I'm going to subtract 0 0.6 there. And this is going to leave me with um, 0.3 equals 0.05x. And then once I divide by 0.05 on each side, we get 6. So that means we need to add um, 6 liters of solution A, okay, or what we were calling solution A. Um, so once again, problem like this, it can get, be easy to get confused. Set up your little table, fill in what you know, and just realize that this right column is equal to the first column times the second column. But let's look at another example. So the chemist needs a solution that's 15% hydrochloric acid. How much 5% acid should he mix with 60 milliliters of 20% acid to get a 15% solution? So let's set up our little table again, same rules. We know that our total volume times the percent concentration will give us the volume of pure hydrochloric acid. That's the relationship between what we have here. And so I know that um, we're going to have a few different solutions. We have what I could call solution A, and then we have a solution B, but then we have like a goal solution, or you could call that solution C. It doesn't really matter how you define those. Okay, I'm just kind of drawing a little table here. Now, it says he needs a solution that's 15%. That means that our goal would be a 15% concentration. He has a, it says how much 5% acid should he mix with 60, meter, or 60 milliliters of 20% acid? So hopefully you see where I got these numbers. 15% hydrochloric acid, and he said 5% acid should he mix with 20% acid to get that. Now, let's look at our... Um, total volume, it says how much of the 5% acid should he mix with 60 milliliters of the 20% acid? And so hopefully you filled in your table kind of like me, but then we know, okay, what's going to be our volume of our goal of that final solution that we make? Well, if we start with 60 milliliters of this and then we add X milliliters, that means our final solution will have 60 plus X milliliters. And then just like last time, this far right column, we're going to find the amount of pure hydrochloric acid in each by multiplying the total volume times the percentage of it that is um, hydrochloric acid. So 60 times 0.20, that should give you 12 milliliters of pure hydrochloric acid in the first one. For the second one, it's just going to be an expression because we have an x there. So 0.05 times x is 0.05x. And on this last one, we're going to multiply the percent times the volume, and we've got that right there. And so what we do is we know that this volume of pure hydrochloric acid plus this volume of pure hydrochloric acid equals this volume of pure hydrochloric acid. So we can just set up a little equation. We have 12 plus 0.05x from the two that we mixed together. And that, that expression for the volume will be equal to 0.15 times 60 plus x. Now, let's just do a little solvent. I'm going to distribute. And then let's subtract 0.05 from each side. Oops, I'm getting my equal signs all thrown off. If I subtract 0.05 here and I subtract 0.05 here, that should give us um, this. And if I subtract 3 from each side, we have this. If I divide by 0.10 on each side, we finally solve, we get 30. And keep in mind, that means 30 milliliters of this second solution, this 5% solution is what we are going to add to that original to create the concentration that we want. So just some final words of wisdom on a situation like this. Set up your table as I've shown. The total volume times the percentage concentration will equal the, the pure volume. And I don't want to say acid because sometimes it's alcohol, sometimes it's different things. But then... Fill in what you can on these left two columns and create your, your right column by just multiplying the first column times the second column. And then what this right column will be is it will be your equation that you can solve. Okay. If you follow that general pattern, it's not exactly like that. Every time you follow that general pattern, you should be okay on this type of problem.